Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're back in Variant. This is Mystery in the Micro Realms 2.2 Variant Difficulty, or as people refer to it as Variant 2. You can see the team that I decided to go in here with. And the first path is going to be a limber path. This is the easiest one. You can tell most of the time in quests whether it's going to be the easy path by looking for that single one star chest. All right, so you can see the uh, buff, sorry, that we are gonna have to deal with on this path. You saw a limber and buff duration. Now, limber often gives me some trouble. All right, it can be very, very painful for me to change up my style. Now, what you see me doing here has been quite effective in other parts of the game. Now this is my initial clear and so I'm still learning this style and you can see that I changed up from doing the parry bleed which I should have just kept doing and tried to fight a little bit uh, differently. Now there are three global nodes. I've talked about them before. They are uh, particle protector, size matters, and micro reflect. Basically if you do not have extra large champions, you're going to find yourself doing a lot of heavies. And depending on the size of your champion, you can intercept and use your specials without them being glanced. But definitely look at those global nodes to make sure uh, what you can do with your champion. So I'm trying to fight this guy here. You can see he's being very defensive. I hate fighting Thor Ragnarok, especially when he's defensive like this. Uh, the AI in the variant difficulty acted very differently than the AI anywhere else. They were very, very passive and quite annoying. Now, I actually, during the exploration, I found a much better way to handle this guy here. Even though I do not have a five-star domino, I brought in my 550, my four star rank five domino. And I combined her, you know, with the Red Hulk synergy and the Masaki synergy. So Limber didn't really matter at all uh, because uh, Masaki, he gives her an extension on her uh, debuffs, I believe it is. So it was as if they didn't have limber at all. So all I needed to do was parry and heavy. But this AI, very, very frustrating. Uh, now during exploration, I actually uh, brought her in and took out the first few fights in, uh, I forget which chapter I was in when I did that uh, for ex exploration. It may have been this one. Uh, but I did take another limber path, and she did extremely well. And that was just the 550. People who have the 5-star uh, or even a 6-star domino with the Red Hulk and uh, Masakri uh, synergies, they were having a ball during this entire variant. Uh, most of the content, parry, heavy, and that's all you needed to do. All right, so you can see here, I'm just not doing well at all. This is not Blade's fault or anything like that. But keep in mind that I'm trying to uh, parry him when he had me in the corner. Very difficult to do. Limber means I can't really get too much you know, time to breathe. And so I'm just trying to bleed him down. You know, that's it. You know, trying to regen a little bit bleed him down. I don't want him to get, you know, any kind of power gain like he likes to do. But just look at him. He don't want to fight. He's like back up, back up, back up, and then lash out, and then back up, back up. Very, very frustrating. And then you see I did that and just basically killed myself because I was tired of it, to be honest with you. Uh, I, I, I was fed up with all of that playing around. I am not a very patient type of a fighter. I don't like long fights. And that fight had gone on far longer than I wanted it to. Uh, but 
I should have been able to still take him out towards the end. It was sort of a Hail Mary uh, type of a, uh, a play. But you see, he only had 1% health. So almost got him, but whatever. So Blade is down, but that's fine. I've got others. Archangel, another MVP for a lot of this content. So we've got Captain America Infinity War. We've got Hyperion. And now Archangel as my MVPs. As long as they can be bled and poisoned, Archangel is a beast. And he's perfect for this style of fighting because all I'm going to do is throw heavies for the most part. You know, every once in a while I forget and I'll throw something else. Uh, but for the most part, all you need is his heavies. Get the neurotoxins on them. And it's usually lights out. And although this is limber, uh, so you don't want, even though when his neurotoxins expire, you see she gets stunned there, but you see she didn't stay stunned. That's because of limber. But didn't matter. Archangel's neurotoxins do so much damage. So down goes Angela. So who's our next victim? Oh, look, it's Ultron. Well, guess what? Ultron can't be bled or poisoned. So there's no way I'm going in here with my Archangel. But I have Hyperion. Hyperion! And Hyperion is one of my MVPs. His heavy, that's how you build up his furies. So fighting the same style that I have to fight with any of my non-extra large champions, I parry heavy. But as you see, this guy, he likes to evade. And look at him, just walking. Passive. But fortunately, Hyperion has a passive power game. So let Ultron walk in and don't fight. And I'll just cycle special threes. And I am running suicide still. Uh, he's poison immune. But I will still take a lot of recoil damage. So I don't want to do that if I can help it. All right, so you see here... I fired off the special two just because it has a lot of damage. And just look at that. Look at all of those evades. I hate fighting this Ultron with a passion. But I just got tired and I wanted to get, you know, those special twos in there and hopefully a stun and just get this guy down. Now, his special one, that's how you want to fight if you can. The reason I didn't spam his special ones a lot is because I was running suicides and I was trying to avoid the recoil damage but towards the end I just said you know what we need to just get this fight over with alright so here we are at a crossroads and I wanted to just check and see which path I should take so as you see there you had one path that had aggression fury and all of that good stuff another one was the same path that I had been doing I switched over so the path that went up, you saw that had the single star chest. That's the easy path. That would have continued on the limber uh, buff duration. But I decided to go ahead and go down here because I saw that I would be able to use Archangel pretty nicely. And I just wanted to get those fights out of the way. Uh, it was gated. And I know I had uh, Hyperion as my cosmic. And I was like, you know what? Let's just do it. Maybe I... Later on, when I'm doing exploration, I may decide not to bring Hyperion. And so I wouldn't have him uh, to be able to unlock this path. Now, if I had Venom, I only have a four-star Venom. But Venom is a beast for this content. I actually do have him as a four-star. I ranked him up uh, to five. You probably have already seen that video. If you haven't, look on the channel. But my 550 Venom put in some work all right so now we're facing this crossbones we didn't have any problems with that proxima midnight she went down pretty pretty easily and this guy can be quite fun when he has furies up he can shrug off a debuff which means not only do I have to deal with limber but I also have to deal with him shrugging off my parry stun and attacking me when I'm trying to you know get my heavy in so what I'm trying to do is 
pause a little bit just to see if he's gonna stay stunned and then throw my heavy. I don't do that extremely well. And remember, normally I would just go in after I bait out that special one like that, I would just go in normally uh, and attack him, but I can't because of the global node and he's not an extra large champion. And so I'll kill myself because of the micro reflect. And I went down because I just couldn't quite get the uh, openings. You saw that I started to parry uh, or rather counter his heavy or his special one with my heavy. But I wasn't used to doing that. And he caught me a few times and, well, that was all she wrote. All right, so I paused there a little bit because I was trying to think how best to handle this guy. And I brought in Hyperion. All right, so there we were able to parry him. He stayed stunned and fire off my heavies, build up those fury charges, and then either fire off a special two or wait and fire off a special three. And I like to do the special three because I can get those celestial charges, which makes him hit much harder, and I could also heal if I choose to. I don't know if you guys knew that Hyperion could heal, but he can if he has three celestial charges. Uh, dash back and hold block, and he will heal up. And just look at that. I was like, really? What, what just happened? But remember... Or you may not remember if you haven't seen the previous video, but there is a bug that right after your special, you will either just stand there or walk towards them. You lose control of your character. And the way this is triggered is if you are blocking or even if you are just swiping back, that can trigger the bug. So you don't want to touch your screen while the special three animation is going on and I believe it's triggered whether you are firing your special three or they are firing their special three but I mostly see it when I'm firing off my special three and of course I will sometimes swipe back or I'll hold block just in case he's gonna attack me right away and sadly that's the very thing you don't want to do all right, so finally we are up here to the final boss. And you can see the nodes that we have to deal with. And this guy is actually not that bad. I don't do extremely well against him, but he's actually not that bad. And during exploration, I was able to get some uh, one-shots on him. All right, but for this first one, what I normally try to do is I'll go in with someone that I'm not sure if they are the best option for him but I want to get some of his health down because my goal is not necessarily to get a one shot it's to get through without using items or as few items as I can so what I'll often try to do is go in with my little guys or you know somebody that I don't think is gonna take him down one shot get as much health off of him as I can then go through pretty much my entire team and if I'm able to get him down without using a revive great if I have to use a revive or two that's fine as well this is just my initial clear so I just want to get it done during exploration that's when I'm gonna need to try to figure out a more efficient way of handling it so anyway, my plan going into this was to parry, heavy, build up prowess charges, then let the plasma charges build up, fire off a special three, maybe one or two, and if it didn't kill him, it would at least hurt him pretty badly. But I realized pretty quickly after the fight started that that plan was not gonna work. I had forgotten about the limber. So after a while, I was not going to be able to do any kind of heavy attacks. So I was presented with a, a problem. It's like, well, now what am I going to do? Well, at this point, my health was already so low, I just like said, let me just try to hit him a little bit, get as much damage in as possible. But that was a wrap, but we did take away some of his health. So 
mission completed. He didn't go down, but he did lose quite a bit of health. So now I'm like, well, this is not going to work out too well for me because of the limber. I'm not going to be able to continue doing what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to keep doing that until I see that he comes out of that stun a little bit too quickly and I'm not going to be able to get another parry and heavy off. After that, the only thing that I can do is try to build up to a special three, fire off a heavy, get that extra fury buff, and fire my heavy off and do the damage. Uh, right there, just made a mistake, and he fired that special right off into my face. And <clears throat> at this point, I could have fired off a special two. Uh, but I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go for a special three. And what you're about to see here, I don't know what I was thinking. I just, I don't know, lost it. So at this point, I have the special three ready. So I should have done a heavy right there. I don't know why I'm just hitting into him because he's glancing and I'm taking all this damage. And boom. I tried to fire a heavy. Who knows why? at that time and he just popped me right in the mouth which I deserved so didn't take down as much health as I could have but now I have a couple more options I could go in with Archangel or Blade Blade I can just parry 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 and get him down doesn't matter that it's limber he'll still bleed he just won't get stunned or I can try to get him down with Archangel and that's what I chose to do because this guy has arc overload as well and I figure that neurotoxin is gonna you know turn that off so Archangel seems to be a really good option for this at least for a little bit while I can parry him stun him don't ask me why he didn't move forward there I tried he just decided he didn't want to move same thing there alright and then finally I moved and it was too late he was already you know coming out of the stuns pretty quickly all right and again there you know this is not an extra large champion so every time I hit him like that it's glancing and you see there it even glanced my specials uh, so I knew I was gonna go down but at this point I'm like I'm just gonna brute force this thing so my goal here is to just use up Archangel get those neurotoxins on him because he did a lot of damage before he went down so Archangel revive heal up so he can survive a little bit longer fire off those heavies hope for RNG to be kind to me and get a bunch of neurotoxins on him play keep away a little bit once I can no longer parry him and let the neurotoxins do their job so he's going down now look at that health so I'm pretty sure he's over with and finally we get him down not too many resources used but that's gonna do it guys click like subscribe leave a comment let me know what you thought about this video hopefully this helps you out on your own run through this and you guys have a blessed day